During the American Revolution, King George III, or Old Mad George, as some have so-called him, blah, 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 blah. Cats and rabbits would reside in fancy little houses and be dressed in shoes and hats and trousers. In a world of our own. And he was so angry at General George Washington that he made all his own royal soldiers dress in bright red uniforms that blah, 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 blah. All the flowers would have very extra special powers. They could sit and talk to me for hours when I'm lonely. In a world of and of course, these bright red uniforms made them look just like giant walking lobsters that went, ah, Alice. Honestly, when are you ever going to grow up? Look, Bethilda, I'm a lion. Roar! Alice, you're not a lion. You're a girl pretending to be a lion. How will you ever make your mark in the world if you don't even know who you are? Remember what the immortal bard said, to thine own self be true. You'd know that if you'd open up a book once in a while. Books are boring. I would rather live my life exploring. Like the lumpest sound of voice touring. Nellie Bly read this book, then voyaged around the world with purpose. What do you propose to explore, Alice, except more trouble? No more trouble, for the greatest problem would be things that Jack could understand. Maybe somehow, if the world could run, I'd read and make believe and fun. Then I could be most anyone. The world could be a wonderland. Just remember to look before you leave. So you don't get hurt searching for your little wonderland. Now getting back to Mad King George. Ah, uh, yes, a wonderland of all that was. Yes, where anything is possible. Yo, 
White Rabbit, you're on! Oh dear! How cool is that? I wonder what's the right thing to say to a talking rabbit. Oh dear, dear, dear! What's up, Doc? No. Um, I mean, hi. Hi, Oh is... no, oh no, oh no, oh no! I'm late. I'm late. Oh, a very important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. I'm late, I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. She's overdue. She's in her They say, if you don't explore, you'll never discover. But my sister Mathilda always says, look before you leap. Well, I'm looking, and it looks pretty deep and dark, and I can't see the bottom. And maybe it goes all the way down to the center of the earth, and I'll be burnt to a crisp in the molten core like that bad marshmallow we've all heard so much about. Or not. Okay, I looked. Now it's time to leap. Alice jumped into the dark rabbit hole and fell for what seemed like three and a half weeks, more like four and a quarter. She fell and fell and fell, but she wasn't alone. I give myself very good advice, but I very seldom follow it. That explains the trouble that you're always in. But the waiting makes me curious But you love the change So something strange began I'm sure that I know right from wrong And you have the best intentions Life should be such a merry song But there, but there is, where is where I give myself very good advice But you very seldom follow it The price of your hat is not always the measure of your brain. Be careful what you wish for, or you might just get it. Necessity is the mother of invention. Tempest Beauty. Don't worry, be happy. I give myself very good advice.
person, you're a doorknob. Well, doorknobs have feelings too. I'm very sorry I pulled on your proboscis, but I have to find the white rabbit. You are far too big to enter into Wonderland. Oh no, but I just have to get in. I just have to. Oh, please don't have a tantrum. You've just arrived. There's far too much adventure ahead to lose your patience already. Maybe if you drink some of the magic potions from that convenient bottle floating nearby, you might just fit in. Hmm. Remember, Alice, look before you leap. I really don't know what's in this bottle, but it looks so pretty. Could be poison, or mayonnaise, or floor polish, or a frothy combination of all three. Hmm. But I have to find the white rabbit. What to do, what to do. Well, if you don't explore, you'll never discover. With one gulp of that potion, Alice shrank to three inches tall. You mean three inches short. It was a very tall three inches. Oh, look at me. I'm the right size for that door. I believe somebody forgot the key way up there in the tree. Oh, no, I'm too small. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, please don't fret. Here, try a cookie. Well, it looks delicious, and I do love cookies, but how do I know what's in it? Oh, don't be silly, Alice. What harm can one cookie do? A lot. Alice grew so big with just one tiny bite of that cookie that she filled the entire room at the bottom of the rabbit hole. Well, now I'm too big. Sorry, kid. You'll never fit into Wonderland now. Try Pittsburgh. But I need to see the white rabbit. Alice cried and 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 cried until the entire room was filled with an ocean of tears. What should I do? Quick, take another drink from the bottle. It's our only hope. Alice shrank back down and swam into the ocean of tears, doing the backstroke through the keyhole, and swam all the way to Wonderland. In the monarch of the sea, the ruler of the queen's navy, in the ocean blue, and the sharks he the sea, the captain breaks his and then Stroke your hard shell, crustaceans. Stroke or I'll boil some butter and eat you for brunch. Yep. I'm all wet. Anybody got a towel? No. A blow dryer? Huh? An extra pinafore? Now what are we gonna do with a pinafore? The question we must answer is, how do we get dry again? Dry again? I think we should lie in the sun. I think we should go for a run. Great idea. The only way to get yourself dry in Wonderland is to initiate an officially sanctioned caucus race. What's a caucus race? Here to there, back again, round and round the track again. Here to there, back again, round and round the track again. Hooray! Everybody take your place before we start the caucus race with your wings and feet and things. To the race begins.
important date. No time to say hello, goodbye. Mrs. Rabbit, wait up, wait for me. My dear, come back. You're a natural. And you forgot your gold medal power winner's cookie. Thanks. After all that swimming and racing, I could use a little pick-me-up. Alice took one bite of that cookie and grew back to her regular size. Curiouser and curiouser, Alice decided to go with the flow. Totally cool and chased off to the white rabbit, but ran into Tweedledee and Tweedledum. Literally. Oh, I'm sorry. How do you do, sorry? I'm Tweedledum. And I'm Tweedledee. I've never met anyone named Sorry before. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm not sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, how do you do? I'm Tweedledee. No, I'm Tweedledee. No, I'm Tweedledee, you're Tweedledum. Oh. I'm sorry. What a coincidence. So is she. Are we related? I'm sorry? Oh, how do you do? I'm Tweedledum. Then I must be Tweedledee. Don't you know who you are? Well, there's no need to attack us. Yes, we've only just met. I thought you knew each other. I'm sorry. Oh, how do you do? I'm Tweedledum. I apologize. And I'm Tweedledee. And I'm out of here. It's been fun, but I have to find the white rabbit. Meeting and running ain't very polite. Don't you have no cooth? There's a right way and a wrong way to, to do, do things. things. When you first you meet a gentleman of caliber and class, you don't just meet and run right here, that's callous, coarse, and crash. Society has set the rules by which we all must play, so listen while we smell them out. Then you'll be disengaged. Say, how do you do? Don't shake hands, shake hands, shake hands. How do you do? Don't shake hands. State your name and business. Well, that's just. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. How do you do? Excellent, excellent, and perfect. If manners could prevail, and you do not act like a pig. The problems that the world presents may not seem quite so big. A bower curtsy, more or less, can brighten up the day. And if you know what fork to use, then you are on your way. I believe it's proper to start with introduction. Tweedledum, meet Tweedledee. And Tweedledee, meet Tweedledum. Oh, how do you do, Tweedledum? I'm Tweedledee. I beg to differ, but I believe I'm Tweedledee. Well, if you're Tweedledee, that means I'm Tweedledum. Oh, dear. Alice of the Tweedles to sort out their late onset identity crisis and acute codependency and continue to chase after the white rabbit whom she trailed through the woods to a house. A comfy little velvety. Two up, three down, one man on third, a friend, watership down, hideaway warm, just perfect for such an interesting rabbit. Oh, there you are. Hi, my name is, oh wait, I mean, how do you do? My name is, Marianne, Marianne, hurry, I can't find my gloves. But my name is, Marianne, Ginger Gillian, I don't care what your name is, don't argue with me. You're making me later than I already am. Hurry, hurry, my gloves stole in my house, I'm late. Mary Ann, I should think I know my own name. Boy, I never knew rabbits could be so pushy. Next, I'll be taking orders from my pet iguana. Oh look, another cookie. What harm could one more do? Famous lost words. Alice took one bite of that cookie and grew as big as a house. The white rabbit's house to be exact. Her arms and legs stuck out of the windows and doors. And the roof sat on top of her head. Oh no, I can't go out in public in this house dress. I have to do something fast. Help! Help! There's a monster in my house and I'm late! I'm not a monster. I'm a little girl. A very big little girl. Help! Help! There's a... Very big little girl in my house, and I'm still late! Whoa, love the dress. I'm late! Help me, help me! I have the answer. And, and there was much rejoicing! Yes! yes. We'll burn the house down! No! no. Hurry up, get out of the wood. Anybody got a match? I'm all out. Didn't your mother ever tell you not to play with matches? Just hurry, please, I! 
fast. Maybe I could eat one of the carrots growing in the rabbit's garden. When Alice ate that carrot, can you guess what happened? That's right. You small Alice. Alice ran away and explored the jungles of... The Garden. No matter how hard I try, I never seem to fit in. Up, down, big, small. I never seem to fit in. I beg your pardon, but did you? Oh, that's nonsense. Flowers can't talk. But of course we can talk. If there's anyone worth talking to. Or about. We can shh. And we sing to. You do? Of course we do. Oh yes, would, would you, you like to hear it tell it to the tulips? No, no let's sing about us. I have. Shh. We know one about the shy little dandelions. Oh no, not that old thing. Let's do lovely poppies in the park. Can, Can we? we? No. no, you can't. How about Jasmine's in the... Oh no, she would like, like that. Enough! Wow, you're all so beautiful. We know, right Daisy? That's right, Rosie. Everybody loves us because we're... The Flowers of the Golden Afternoon. The Golden Afternoon? What's that? It's the name of our very exclusive garden club. Right, Petunia? Totally affirmative, Lily. If you want to be cool, you have to be a flower like us. And nobody gets in unless we say. And we don't let in just anyone. Sitting in a vase for three days till they wither and die. 
Am I right? Right. right. Thank you. But enough about them. Who, pray tell, are you? I am Alice. Who, pray tell, are you? I am whoever you want me to be. If I indeed whoever I say I am, or someday hope to be, you think? Yes, no, maybe? I'm a caterpillar, kiddo. Your wonder of wonders, your miracle of miracles, your happy, happy day. I'm confused. I want an adventure, but nothing makes sense here. Alice, adventure doesn't always make sense, but it doesn't mean you should stop exploring. The caterpillar's gonna share two magical hyphenated little words with you, guaranteed to make even your worst day absolutely fabulous. Ready? Sure, let's do this. Repeat after me. Zippity doo dah. Zippity doo dah. Zippity a. Zippity a. You've been holding out on me. Hit it. This is just the kind of day I dream about. When you open up your mouth, the song pops. Trouble is, it's all kept under his hat. 
A Mad Hatter? I don't think I want to make anyone mad. Haven't you noticed we're all a little mad here? Why, I myself am not all here. Enjoy the tea party. Try the Red Singer. Does wonderful things for growing pains. <laughs> I didn't mean to crash your birthday party. It's not a birthday party, it's an unbirthday party. An unbirthday party? Well, you have one birthday each year, but you have 364 unbirthdays. Sometimes 365. True. Happy How do you know if you're playing fairly? Well, that's part of the game, I guess. Oh look, it's the White Rabbit! I'm late, I'm late, for a very important date. No time to say goodbye! Oh, I'm late! I'm late! She's late! I'm late! Oh my, would you look at the time! Late! Did you say you were late? Only 76 times, not that anyone's counting. See? Well, your watch is slow, Sissy. Here, let me fix it for you. Scalpel! 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 Forceps! 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 Axel Grease! Axel Grease! Wonderland is too crazy for me. 
The rules keep changing, and no one can tell me why. Maybe Mathilda was right, and I should stop exploring and just go home. If I could only find my way. But Alice, in Wonderland, there's only the Queen's way. But I've never even met a queen. Then today's your lucky day. You're going to meet the biggest queen of all. This way to the Royal Rose Garden. Royal cards, you're on deck. Right this way, Alice. You probably want to play a game of croquet using upside down flamingos for mallets, right? My dear young girl, croquet is so 19th century. Sorry. 
I want to play Simon Says. Simon Says? Simon Says! Oh, well, card done, Ahem. <clears throat> no, no. I want everybody here. <clears throat> Everyone in Wonderland on deck for the Royal Tournament of Simon Says. Why? Because the Queen said so. That's why. Simon Says curtsy. Simon Says bow. Simon Says genuflect. Simon Says meow. Simon says, swim upstream. Simon says, think about what I'm saying. Simon says, scream. <laughs> Simon says, wobble up my feet like spineless dogs. Now stand up. I didn't say Simon says, off with their heads. I see you've played this game before. Oh, I love Simon says. But does Simon love your wonder? Simon says, stand up, time for the lightning round. Simon says, hop on one leg. Simon says, do jumping jacks. Simon says, leap like a frog. Simon says, melt like wax. Simon says, walk like a monster. Simon says, scream with no sound. Simon says, tap dance. Simon says, sit on the ground. Stand up. Simon says, stand up. Simon says, hold one foot behind your back and wave your arms and sing at the top of your lungs. Painting the roses red. Painting the roses I love red. that song. We did a Stop singing it before my ears explode. My apples, my syrup. Painting the roses. Royal card. Drag her away. Painting the roses. But you didn't say Simon says. <gasps> I'm afraid the match goes to Alice. You may have won the match, Alice, but you've just lost your head. Royal cards, off with her! Wait, my dearest, why don't we have a trial? Just this once, you know, shake things up a bit. Well, all right, but make her fast. I want to see her head rolling around like a bowling ball. All assemble for High Tribunal! Alice versus the Queen of Hearts! The prisoner is charged with enticing her royal majesty the Queen of Hearts, into a game of Simon Says, and thereby willfully, and with Alice of forethought, dis put a bee in her royal bonnet and cause a beloved queen to lose her royal temper. Oh, don't be silly. I just beat her at her own game. She beat me? Do you hear? She confessed that she beat me. Aww. Aww. Hurry, get to the good part where we cut off her head. But we haven't heard any witnesses yet. <clears throat> First witness? Better make that plural. Tweedledum and Tweedledee, take the witness stand. How do you do? Tweedledum and Tweedledee, can you please introduce yourselves to the court? That's just a problem. We can't. <gasps> we don't know who we are anymore. <gasps> that horrible little girl got us all tied up in a knot. You see? You see? And can you tell the court her name? Sorry. Mm, just tell us her name. Sorry. No, her name. Sorry. Oh, well, never mind then. Next witness is the flowers of the golden afternoon. Now, flowers, did you observe any incredibly suspicious behavior on the part of the incredibly guilty party? Well, your honor, she wanted to become a member of our club. <gasps> she didn't. I know, right? Ick. She wanted to be a flower like us. And what did you tell her? Ew! Ew. Next witnesses, the Mad Hatter and the March Hare. <laughs> to the already rock-solid evidence against the soon-to-be decapitated usurper. She wants to play by the rules. <gasps> rules, rules, murmur, murmur. This rebellion must be quelled. And just where were you when this horrible crime was committed? Well, we were having a tea party. You know, today is my own birthday. Why, dear, today is your own birthday, too. It is? 
We want to throw a party, you and Mary push a party. You mean? Guess who? I hate to be specific, but your highness is terrific. You mean? We do! The Queen of Hearts is all the rage that treats her royally. Oh, 
prevail. <laughs> we had it! Recording. Already? Maybe if you... I can do this. Okay. I can't go backwards to the <laughs> room. <laughs> there is far too much adventure ahead. Yeah. And perfect. perfect. If manners could prevail, and you do not. Wait. Oh, Please, somebody forgot the tree. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> somebody forgot the tree. Way right up there in that tree. Versus the queen of hearts. Just enjoying the songs. <laughs> Dear. Cut! Excellent, guys. That was really good. Stop. 